Spanish ABC, and today I'm making another gimmick for it. This will be my fourth um, platform tutorial for Game Maker, and in this one we're going to teach you how to make movable crates or blocks. Keep in mind that this tutorial is based off of my first platform tutorial, which is the file I have open now. So to get started, go into sprites, create sprite, call it SPR block, click edit sprite, add some image, and let's make it a lot of fun too, I guess. Uh, I have to go through the sprites, I have an object. One thing before we get started on the object, go into the object player and the event. I change some of these values around, so if it doesn't look, if the physics look the same as those with you, that's because I changed these a little bit, just because I felt like the other ones were choppy or hard to do. With. So next, create an object called OBJ block, add event, go into step event. Right now we're going to type down code as if we wanted to program it to move left and right. And if keyboard check ok right and place 3 x plus whatever you want your moving to be, make sure it's the same as the player. In my case, it's player moves 8 pixels. Yep, 8 coordinates. So I'm putting that 8. Copy this and do the same thing. I change this to left, make this negative, and this negative. So now it'll move around just like a player if I, if I did left and right buttons, but I want to make sure that the player is in the right position for it to move that way. So for it to move right, we want the player to be touching it on the left side, so they'll be pushing it. So it's not and, and place meeting. X minus one minus one on the Y and then OBJ play. Then copy this. I do the same thing down here. Only it's plus one. Right. Now there's a few things we need to make sure that over here for the first set of sprite I forgot to do that earlier. Gotta make it solid, make sure the player doesn't um, overlap with, with it. And we gotta make the parent OBJ solid. That way the physics work out okay. Alright. So now let's go into So the player's still working the same way as did earlier. And it moves smoothly, but as you can see there's a little gap between the player and the object. Now I spent a long time trying to figure out what the best way to fix it and I wasn't able to find an efficient way, but I'm gonna show you the way I figured it out. So create a group in your sprites and call it man. Create sprite called SPR mask L. This will be the mask we're going to use when the box is moved to the left. So if we edit sprite, go in there, you see it's quite black, fill the whole thing in, and delete the right 8 pixels. The reason I'm doing this is First off, let me explain why there's a gap. It's because the moment the player collides with the block, the block immediately moves eight pixels to the right. So that, so that process repeats, and there just always end up being a gap. So the way this works is that the player will will collide with it eight block eight um, pixels further to the left. So that way, you won't even notice the gap because it is massively close to close it off. So then I'm going to duplicate this and call it SPR mask R. And this is going to be the same thing, only I'm going to flip it along the horizontal axis. Make sure it flips vertically, it's not clicking. Alright. Oh, and also, for me, I did 8 pixels on the side. You may need to do more or less depending on what the speed of, what the speed you put into your player. So I'll go back OJ block right here. When it's going to be moving to the right, you want to make sure it has the correct mask. So click on mask, index equals SPR mask R. Right here, to the left, down mask, index equals SPR mask 
Uh, there's one more problem. If um, the player lands on top of it, and one of these masks are set, and the player is a little too far to the left or right, then it'll go straight through the block, which we don't want. So in order to make sure that doesn't happen, put down if obj player dot y is less than y minus 32. 32 would be the height of the player sprite. So this is basically saying that it's the, the player has a y value, which can't is small enough to, to be a to land top. So, so in this case, we want the mask index to equal SPR block. Make sure the parentheses around here just to be safe. Alright, now let's test that out. As you can see, it looks a lot smoother now. There's no longer a gap. And go around on top of it. I stay on top of it. So, that works for Alright, this is a rather short tutorial. I'm assuming most of you guys prefer it that way. But, um, I hope that I managed to get the message across just as well. Alright, we can now mark this not the list. Please rate, comment, subscribe. Uh, we'll see.